Welcome to the series where I test out money making methods from the OSRS wiki. Feel free to leave suggestions on which money maker you'd like to see next. And also, if you didn't already know, I have a nice playlist that I've created that has all of the previous money makers that I've already tried. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's video, I thought we'd go ahead and do another fishing video, and that is to catch minnows. Now we've done fishing money makers in the past before, but this is the first time that I am actually going to try out catching minnows. I've never been to this area and I've never caught these fish, so it'll be a new experience. Now for this money maker, you will need 82 fishing, the angler's outfit, a small fishing net, and the rata's blessing is optional, but it is very worth it if you have it. Now we won't be needing to buy anything for this money maker, so all of the money that we make here will be pure profit. Now as for quests, you will have to have completed the quest fishing contest, which isn't that difficult of a quest. You can knock it out pretty quickly, so that shouldn't be a problem. And that is pretty much it. Now unfortunately, the price of shark has gone down. I believe not too long ago it was selling for close to 1200 GP each, so we won't be making as much as we could have made if we had tried this out earlier. But nonetheless, with the prices that they are currently at, we're still set to make a pretty decent amount for the amount of effort that we have to put into this. Not to mention that we're also going to get a nice bit of fishing experience, and maybe a chance at the pet since I still don't have it yet. As you can see here, this is the gear setup that I am using. I am bringing the angler's outfit, which is not optional. You do need this outfit to enter the area. I am also bringing a dragon harpoon, although I won't be using it because it won't be benefiting me since I am 99 fishing already, and we are outside of the fishing guild. In the ammo slot, I have the Rada's Blessing 4, which is going to give me an 8% chance to catch double the amount of minnows. Now I won't get double XP, but it will help out the GP per hour. And then for the inventory, all we need is the small fishing net. And luckily the minnows are stackable so we won't have to worry about any inventory management. Now as for getting to the area, you can use a skills necklace teleport to get to the fishing guild. You can enter the door right here and just run all the way north to where you normally fish for sharks and lobsters and swordfish and all that good stuff. Now there is someone at the northernmost dock who goes by the name of Kylie Minnow. We're gonna go ahead and talk to them since this is my first time here and basically they're just they want to make sure that you are, I guess, good enough to enter the minnows area. This is where they want to see your angler's outfit to make sure that you take fishing seriously. Apparently, you don't need the angler's outfit, or well, you don't need to wear it to actually go to the area, but you do need to have acquired it. But if you have it, I mean, might as well wear it, that way you can get a nice fishing XP boost. Unless you really care about Fashionscape. And if that's the case, then go ahead and wear whatever you want. But I do suggest wearing the golden helmet because again, it is the best helmet in the game. Now, after you're done talking to Kylie Minnow, we can go ahead and board the boat to go to the Minnow's area. Also, after you're done with the Minnow fishing, you will also be trading Kylie to get the sharks in return for your Minnows. And with that being said, we are here on the platform and this is where we will be spending the next hour. Now when I first started doing this moneymaker, I was under the assumption that it was going to be pretty AFK and in a way it was, but not as much as I thought it was going to be. Now the wiki says that the minnow spots move around usually every 15 seconds, so I guess you could AFK for a maximum of 15 seconds. And after a while, I suppose you could do this with minimal effort. You could probably do it while you're watching something else. I mean, I know I was watching something else while I was doing this, but there is a mechanic that kind of stops you from it being totally AFK, and that is a flying fish that will eat the minnows directly out of your inventory. So if you're not paying attention, you will be losing some of the minnows, and that will ultimately affect your GP per hour. Luckily though, Runelight has a nice plugin that was already on for me because like I said I have not been to this spot before this was my first time but the plugin basically shows you how long you have until the minnow spot moves and if it turns red that means that there is currently a flying fish stealing from your inventory 
So when you see that, make sure you move to the other spot. And sometimes you'll get unlucky and that other spot will also have a flying fish. Now, while I was doing this moneymaker, I wanted to see if you could simply step away from the fishing spot and then go back to it and maybe the flying fish would be gone, but the two or three times that I tried it, he remained at the spot. Or she. So my guess is if your spot is currently inhabited by the flying fish, that spot is pretty much the fish's property now. And you'll have to wait for the next spot to move. Or just move to the next one that's already there, unless that one's also taken by another flying fish. As I said before, this moneymaker isn't completely AFK, but I mean, it's not as bad as some other fishing methods. I mean, it is more relaxing than barbarian fishing, especially if you're retaking that. This one, at least the spots will move in a clockwise motion, so they won't ever really change. The only thing you have to look out for is that flying fish. And when the spot turns yellow, I believe like a second after that, in the top left corner you'll see that it'll say not fishing anymore, so you can basically move to the next spot before the fishing spot actually moves. Because even though the fishing spot is still there and it shows you doing the fishing animation, if it says that you're not fishing then you're not getting any more minnows and any more XP, so might as well move to the next spot. I tried to do this as many times as possible. I did slack off a little bit here and there, but I still think we got a nice amount of minnows in the end. Now we also managed to get some clue scrolls or clue bottles that contain the clue scrolls, so that's good to know. If you don't get lucky with the fishing pet, then who knows, you might get lucky with a piece of third age from a clue casket, which unfortunately I have yet to obtain a piece. But it's all good. I mean, I haven't gone totally hard on the clue grind yet. Uh, I do plan to make future videos on clue caskets. I've completed the hard and I want to complete all of the other tiers of clues so that I can unlock all of those special cosmetics that you get. If you're curious to know what the chances of getting the pet are here, it is, according to the wiki, a 977,778 chance. And basically, your pet chance is rolled once each time fish are obtained. It doesn't matter how many fish you get, it's basically every XP drop that you see is a chance on that almost one in a million chance to get the pet. So it doesn't seem like you have that great of a chance here at Minnows, but I mean you do catch fish pretty rapidly, so I'm sure it evens out. And if you look in my chat box, you'll also see that I have a notification that the battle staffs are waiting to be collected from Zaf. And this is basically a daily task that you can do if you have the Varrock Diaries completed. And I gotta admit, I never really did this because I didn't really think it was worth it. I mean, you get around 150k every time you go and buy staffs from him with the Elite Diary done. And to me, it just wasn't worth it. But I mean, if you do the math, you can make almost 55 mil in a year if you do it every day. And it takes less than a minute to buy it, so might as well do it. I usually stop by his shop after I have completed my farm run since I am still going for the farming pet. And with that being said, we have finished the one hour of fishing minnows. And as you can see in our inventory, we have about 28,000 minnows that we can trade for 706 sharks. When I first saw this, I was caught by surprise because the wiki said that we'd catch around 375. So this was a huge surprise to me and I just I, I didn't believe it was going to be this much money but I guess with 99 fishing you can make a pretty decent profit here and with the Rodas blessing that we had that gives us that 8% chance at catching double. Unfortunately the price of sharks was uh, lower than the market price which again I didn't mind putting it in there for lower price simply because we caught so many sharks and made more money than I thought we were going to make so 660k was okay with me. But as I say with all of my videos, if you do plan to do this moneymaker long term, leave them in there for at least market price, perhaps maybe a little bit over, that way you can truly maximize your profit. And who knows, maybe you can wait until they jump up to 1200 again. Now like I stated earlier in this video, we didn't really have to spend any money on any items, so all of the money that we made was pure profit, that being 660,816 GP. And here is the wiki's estimation if you were to catch 375 shark, and we also managed to get 53.5 thousand fishing XP, so not bad at all. 
Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good method of training fishing. You get a nice amount of fishing XP and money, and it's also not that tedious. Not completely AFK like some other methods, but still not that bad. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.